Hajj Shahid, Surah 3, 190 and 191. Surah Imran, 190, 191. This has to do with tafakkur. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن في خلق السماوات والأرض واختلاف الليل والنهار لآيات لأول الأرباب The immensity of Ayatul Kareem that these are the people of tafakkur that Allah describing that in Surah Ali Amran 3, 190 to 191, indeed in the creation of the heavens and the earth and the alteration of night and day are signs for the people of tafakkur, ulul baab, the people who carry the trust of the gate of knowledge, that their whole life is about all the signs upon the horizon and within themselves. And tadhakkaroon that this is the important part and Allah now describes who these people are of the ulul baab, tadhakkaroon whom they remember Allah often. And then Allah describes they remembering Allah while they're standing, while they're sitting and even when they're sleeping on their sides they are in dhikr of Allah So they're not regular people, they're not that guy and this guy, they have to be from the people of dhikrullah. And such a dhikr, such a state in which Allah said they stand, they sit, they sleep they're making dhikr. So already this, this the characteristic of, of these people and they contemplate the creation of the heavens and the earth and they, and they confirm within the reality Allah didn't make this as a game because there lies the secret is that Allah is very serious about this creation and this is not a joke, this is not Allah playing and that's why then the next verse, Subhanika Allahumma Ya Rabbi uh, glory be to you and, and save me from fire and punishment. Why save me, glory be to you and save me from fire and punishment? Because they understood the immensity of being heedless in what Allah created, thinking, oh this is a joke, we just play here and then we go there. And they understood that, no, no, there's going to be an immense punishment. And their, the whole understanding of what Allah has created of this creation has to be understood, has to be glorifying Allah the, the immensity of what power He has put into it, the detail in which He put into it, this is our whole life's purpose. 
is to stop and to see the glory of Allah in the immensity of what He has created from Samahi Wala. And as a result they fear Allah that there be a punishment upon them for not knowing what Allah has created of the bounty of this creation. So that has to go with the people of tafakkur, the people of zikr and this is the purpose of the shaykhs to bring these people to dhakirun, the people of dhikr back to this understanding because this creation going to be punished. Can you imagine Allah put all this might, all this majesty, all this beauty into all this creation and the ending is, Subhanaka faqinna adhab nar that glory be to you and protect us from any type of punishment because we didn't recognize how much you put into this, how much beauty you put into this creation, how much immensity you put into this creation. None of it was a joke, all of it was immense realities, immense purpose and that was the purpose of my existence was to come and to understand what Allah has created and what Allah has given as a bounty upon my soul and upon my reality. Then they bring you to the bayat that Allah then wants those people, these people whom they should be understanding this reality, call them back and the bayat then is the reality of you heard, you heard the call to Allah You heard it, you feel it in the zikr, you feel it in the knowledges that you're understanding and you're getting and your bayad was to come back to Allah Come back to the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad and understand your purpose. Understand the purpose of this creation, what's your role in this creation. And this is the all the glory of Allah this is the reality of Islam. Not that this is just a passing game, we just sort of live it, enjoy it and in the end we have something maybe good in store for us. But was to understand the deep reality and the purpose of this existence. And this would give us the greater understanding of our eternal existence. So the bayat then was to live a life like that. Then in the end you put your hand out and confirm also to your nafs, this is my life. But you already have an inner calling, you're following it, you're understanding, you're listening to the zikrs, you're listening to the teachings. The shaykhs are there to, to make it to be real. They have a curriculum set by Allah and Sayyidina Muhammad and by their awliyaullah who are guiding them. They are not on crash course and they're not doing anything random, everything is on a ship moving on a course with a curriculum and the curriculum is to bring people to that reality inshaAllah.